Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to turn handwriting into an SVG to be used in your Cricut design space for projects that you are planning on doing. So I've got a little note from my son to his dad in front of me and what I want you to do with your note or your little handwritten image is take a clear picture of that with your smartphone. You can then upload that to your um, Google Drive or um, Dropbox or the easiest way is actually to just email it to yourself. If the image is a little bit too big, um, make sure to crop it to really just have the little bit of writing. Um, and then we are going to download it onto your computer. So now that I've emailed this image to myself, I'm going to open it up and download it to my computer. In my case, this will go into to the downloads folder onto um, Windows Explorer. There we go, sitting right there. So what you need to do is open the site picsvg.com. And this is a site that will um, give you the capability of basically converting any picture to an SVG. What I'm going to do is click on upload an image, find my image, and upload it. So if you have a look at this picture here, it's not really ideal, but the great thing is that it gives you different options with this drop down menu. So you can then go through them, have a look if there's anything that you like or prefer. That one's not bad. And I would recommend choosing the cleanest um, image possible. For the purpose of this exercise, I think I'm going to use this one just to show you in Cricut Design Space how to clean those up. So I'm going to download the SVG using that button. And again, it's going to go into my downloads folder in Windows Explorer. If you then open Cricut Design Space, what you do is you create a new project, click on upload, and then upload image. It says you can drag and drop your file here, or you can browse. And like I said, I'll find it in the downloads folder. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to rename this. I love you, Dad. And upload it. So you'll see your image on the left hand side over here. And if you click on it, it gives you an option to add to Canvas. Okay, I'm going to enlarge that a little bit. And as you can see, there's little dots all over that we need to clean up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my image and click on ungroup. That will then basically give me every single little section that forms part of this image. Um, under normal circumstances, you should be able to highlight your text and group them together again. But because of this little mark over here, I don't think we'll be able to do it. So if I go and I highlight the text over there and I say well them together you will see that they then group them together and I can go on the right hand side and hide it I am going to do the same with my with the word dad over here weld it together and on the right hand side I'll hide it then you can actually see that the, it's only these two marks over here that you can just click on and delete in order to remove it and then you can go back to your right hand side and unhide those two. What I would then do is highlight all the text and weld them together. You can now format this image depending on what project you're working on. Um, let me know in the comment section below what, what you will be doing with this. In my case I'm going to be using this as a stencil for a Father's Day craft, wood burning Father's Day craft for Father's Day that's coming up. So be sure to like and subscribe in order not to miss that one. 
See you in the next video.